Right, so, what have we got to do? I've got something to scan over here. Let's have a look. We've got um, Navaria, of course. Got Navaria, and we do have the DLC. Um, bring down the sky to do. I'm going to wait a little bit, because it can be a, quite a tough. From what I remember, maybe not, but... Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, probably go to a very next. What's this? I'll take it in the com room. Okay, I wonder what this is about. Commander Shepard, <laughs> we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate oh, find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeyer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeyer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Okay. Well, we'll go to Navarre first, anyway. Um, and then we're on to Vermeer. So I'm going to do Navarre, I think. Then I'll do Ring Down the Sky. And then on to Vermeer. Right. Which case, Navarre is here. Looks like now. Approach control. This is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Wow. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Gonna take the Ara. And they're the same. I'll take Garrus for a bit. I could always switch them out. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has. I am going to give the Ara some best stuff. She might as well have. Um, that might be better than what I got, so I'll keep that for now. Um. Shit, you snipers. I got any armor for her? No. Oh, hang on. No, it's worse. I thought it might be. The deck. Right. Let's stick with that. Little confrontation here. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. 
This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Wow. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Oh, fuck you too, as well. Get out of here. <laughs> right. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. All right. There we go. Welcome to Port Hanshan. The galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. Turians don't like Can't the skip gold. this one either. Did I ever mention that? <laughs> yeah, she only seems like you can skip the Citadel ones. There's not too many in here anyway. Right. There is a Hannah around here that has a side quest that has to get something from the dock from him. I was going to do that first before we go too far in. So let's do that. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. I didn't get the quest. I'll go back to other options in a minute, if possible. Uh, have you got anything? Titan. What well, that's like. 44, 150, 16. Mmm, it's quite good. You know what, fuck it. Uh, grenade upgrade. I'm not really using grenades. I'll buy that though. Oh, it's only 3,000. Fuck it. Right. Sort to me again. This one offers greetings. You are the spectre that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, 
it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. <laughs> I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits right, I'm going to get that. Just going to see... Um, hope he's a reasonable colour. Yeah, it's okay. It's, you know, it's better in every way, so I might as well go with it. Yes, Onyx looks nice, but I need protection. So. Right, I'm just going to go get the package for him and bring that back. And then carry on into the port properly. It's a bit of a weird quest. It's like you just get in there. It's like, right, I've got a quest, but you need, you're going to need to backtrack on yourself already. <laughs> Well, let's just get it done and then I can I can move on then. It's an easy quest, it's just literally going down here, picking something up and bring it back to him, so. XP and money just for a bit of walking. Inspector, have you brought the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. <laughs> this one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. It'll have to do. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your right. return. Nice and easy. Right. Go see the administrator. Let's get the ball rolling on getting through here. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. 
Business has come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. And I represent the second guessing of galactic law. Just so we understand each other. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. <laughs> Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. All right. Where are we going then? Yeah. Alright, um, now we talk to her. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass yeah. to leave her gem. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Alright, what would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeus. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? <laughs> Mr. Analeus isn't the only one. <laughs> said it so loudly. She's like whispering, I'm like, you said this not the like. Hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. All right, we'll go speak to him. And he is the guy who has the dialogue loop to max out my um, Paragon. Ah, ba -ba -ba. How am I doing with Paragon? Oh, I've got points to put in, bloody hell. Hmm. Not bad. Right, a uh, couple of shotguns, assault training, warp. Yeah. Okay, she's got a lot to put in. Um, I want her singularity, so I'm going to do warp up to there. Then a couple of singularity, which is quite nice. Yep. Barrier for her. Alright, first aid is good. Electronics, yep. Sorry, scientists, max that out. Alright, throw. Give her a lift because it can be useful. She's doing that for me. And then just auto the rest. Right. Kill. Cool. Just gonna save. Alright. Let's get to Laura Keen then. Who's down this way? If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, that's how I get the pass. Go through there with the pass, and then you can go onwards. Oh, damn it, where am I going? What's up here?
The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with That's him. That's very direct. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Okay. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. <coughs> First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Oh, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. Cool. Back to her. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more. Since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. 
Seems nothing compared to what I've got, but okay. Thank you. Right, now I've got to talk to this guy. I've got to do the loop if it works. I'm just going to save before I do that, and then we'll talk to him. Right. Yeah, I can't remember exactly, but there was a way to loop around. I do for you. Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help. You are the spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office, for the moment at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpet, Shit. would you? I hope I haven't missed it. Can I talk to him again? Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter? I, I think you asked about Venezia. I think it's down that line. Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. Uh, it looks like I it's been like fixed. Go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? <laughs> that would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. I wonder... I'm just looking it up. If I've fucked up, I'm not talking about it first, but... Uh... Apparently I haven't fixed it, but I cannot... Oh wait, it's after this step, okay. Yeah, it's after this step. Afterwards when you need him to testify. Okay. Right, let's go up to the offices then. Let's get a save actually. Right. Yeah, it's after as I remember now. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a court Could I not? I swear I could oh. Is that another door? Elder brother? It's me. I'm on the very end. Read it. Who's that? Don't remember him, but he's a name that character.
She received the stocks, but it's imperative you make your way to the safe location. Your history with other organization has been leaked. Your base in the Newton system is no longer secure. I repeat, make your way to the safe location immediately. Hmm, what's that about? Doctor at risk. Find the doctor in the Newton system. Okay. Do that at some point. security gone. Does that mean I can now go up here? I don't remember if that was there before. It may have been and I just never looked. 